Hey Rivals, welcome to Vax Attacks. Today we are doing another base design series and this time it's for Stronghold 10. My base here is a Stronghold 12, but it's right now got the um, Stronghold 9 design. And what we'll be doing is adding in these new units that you get at Stronghold 10. Catapult, Gold Storage. Uh, that Catapult is a key new uh, defense building. And what we're going to do for this uh, design is to look at four different designs that you might see pretty common at uh, Stronghold 10. The one that uh, I have here has a compact core. In other words, the Primus Conduit is only touching two defenses. And the reason for that is, instead of going for four, to be able to have a second layer of uh, walls. So it gives up some of the defensive power for uh, making it tougher to get to the stronghold. So we're going to look at two compact uh, designs like this. Uh, and we're going to look at uh, two other designs that use a full Primus Conduit with four different defenses surrounding it. So this base design here I call the peanut because the shape right in here is kind of peanut shaped or hourglass shaped and it's got just a little bit of a, of a shell around it that is protecting the uh, stronghold. So one way to um, modify this stronghold line design and look at a stronghold 10 design is to try to open things up and put some walls in there uh, that go against funneling. So a good example I found of that one is by Micah in Task Force and he has got a stronghold level 10 and it's got that uh, peanut shaped core but notice on the outside instead of closing in the walls he's got uh, gaps in there and that uh, helps the units to go in only at certain points in the base and they will circle around while getting shot at by the more interior uh, defenses so it limits the uh, initial access of uh, or the initial choices from where to attack and if they're not careful about funneling their troops they will just uh, circle around so he's got those three catapults nicely centralized. He's got a nice triangle on the um, spell towers. And there's really not too many uh, free buildings here. So this is a pretty, pretty good design. I like this one uh, as an anti-funneling design. All right, the second example that I want to look at is one of our opponents in the current war, Argentina Elite. So shout out to uh, Jack. I liked your base here, a Stronghold 10. It's also got the um, hourglass core, but notice out here, it's got bigger wings. So I'm kind of calling this one a walnut. It's, uh, there are no open walls, it's a, it's a thicker shell to crack, and the, the hope is that it's hard to crack in and get into this uh, base here. So it's got the compact core, as well as the uh, beefier side, some good defenses uh, at top and bottom and it gives up on the four defenses around the conduit in order to make it uh, you have to go through two layers of walls to get to the stronghold so that's a very nice design the uh, downside uh, to this approach is you really have to try to, to get to buildings uh, where they are protected by the um, uh, the anti-air defenses the uh, the watchtower and sky tower so for example here um, you've got that building uh, is is free that one is free out here. That one can be uh, can be sniped as well. And you just lack the anti-air defenses to make a full ring. So he's got a defense here, but it's not anti-air. So they can come in and snipe that building as well. So if the attacker is careful and recognizes what buildings are available, there's a little bit more than usual that can be sniped with, uh, with this design. But overall, I do like that one. All right, and here's another example of a uh, Stronghold 10 that I liked, and this one was found on cwwilson.org's uh, nice site with a um, base design repository, so I'll try to put the link for that in the uh, description below. And JTR of Clash of Throne has also this kind of walnut design, however he has uh, opened up the walls on the uh, bottom in order to um, allow the troops to kind of go through the base instead of heading toward the uh, uh, the center. Now, if you push the um, the um, blacksmith and the barracks out, uh, you could probably close up the wall walls and get another uh, closed design. And again, he's trying to reduce the uh, 
number of free bullings you can snipe, it, trying to centralize the uh, catapults, get a nice triangle on the, uh, the spell towers. So this is another good example of the, uh, of the walnut design for uh, Stronghold 10. Now if you're interested in that uh, compact peanut design with the open walls for the anti-funneling, I would point you to an excellent video by Ash where he looks at design layouts for Stronghold 9 and 10. And there he looks at a base by Artashir of Rival Elite, which does a really good job of uh, designing a peanut base. Also in that video, there is a base by Taney, also of Rival Elite, that uses the classic four box design. The advantage of the four box design is with the bigger compartments, you can fit in a full Primus Conduit with four defenses. So we're going to uh, build a base like that to show you what it's like and talk about the advantages of the four box. Alright, so let me switch over to the edit mode and show you a classic four box design. And here's my completed four box design for Stronghold 10. Let me point out a few features here. There's basically four main compartments, square boxes. You've got a Primus Conduit surrounded by the four defenses there. There's also a Skywatcher and another Skywatcher, symmetric. Uh, on the other side, got a triangle for the three different spell towers. The watchtowers are spread out nicely as well, and they're trying to uh, not give up as much, um, not give up much extra mana. With the um, sky watchers and watchtowers inside the walls, they can't really provide perfect protection, but pretty good protection in practice. I continue to have the base uh, in the corner where the sky watcher. The watchtower can watch the uh, the large buildings, just doesn't give much deploy room for the dragon up top. These two buildings are as close as they can get to the uh, watchtower, the same over here. And the watchtower provides good protection against the all of the troop portals, so that's handy. We have a fortified uh, double wall down at the uh, bottom, and then just an enclosed um, set of uh, smelters down at the uh, at the bottom as well. So if they try to attack from the bottom, they have to get through the extra walls while taking a lot of physical uh, damage. And then when they get to the stronghold finally, they're going to hit by one, two, or three different uh, spell towers. And the bunkers going to come into play as well. If they try to attack from the uh, north, they've got a lot of buildings to, to get through and then they'll be facing a pair of uh, catapults, the watchtower, um, probably all three of the uh, spell towers, and then the arrow launcher has a very good range, and when they get to the close to the stronghold, the catapult will come within range as well. And the watchtowers are providing uh, anti-sniping defense so that a dragon can't just come in and, uh, and get the town hall after the other defenses have been knocked out. If they try to come in from one of the sides, um, they're going to have to get through an extra wall to get to the stronghold, and they'll be taking a ton of fire from all of the catapults, the arrow launcher, um, and they'll be facing probably two uh, spell towers as well. So pretty much from uh, any direction, it's going to be a little bit tough to uh, get in there. There's a lot of um, uh, physical damage with this type of uh, base and there's no defenses on the outside. You have to break through the walls before you can take out any defense. So this is the kind of classic four box design for Stronghold 10, and I think that can be uh, pretty effective. And here is really where I wish you could save the uh, multiple layouts in order to try out different bases. I'd love to give this one a uh, test drive. We're gonna be going up to the Stronghold 11 defense very soon, but here's pretty much all we're gonna be adding. One, two, three walls. It's Stronghold 12 where you get new defenses, a second hour launcher, which is big, another true portal to protect, and three different uh, walls. So the Stronghold um, 11 defense layout, you can use any of these bases really and just add the three walls wherever you like for a little bit extra fortification. So everything covered today uh, applies to Stronghold 11 as well. And with those three extra walls, we're going to look at two completely different styles of bases uh, next time, looking at the um, exterior ring uh, defense, as well as the southern teaser defense.
But to finish up today, what I'm going to do is just exit out of the exit mode and make some minor modifications to my uh, existing stronghold line design. Okay, so we're back here at our stronghold nine design. You can see it's the uh, the closed peanut design, and basically, I want to just make some minor modifications to this in order to uh, pull in the catapult and the cold storage. So we're going to do that in edit mode, and then keep that base. And here we go. Here's our final design for stronghold ten. And it's kind of a hybrid uh, design here. You'll see that I opened up the bottom in order to make a full compartment for the uh, Primus Conduit. I really do like um, having four defenses around it and having only two there for the compact core isn't, isn't my favorite there. All right, there, there is a kind of a um, physical um, priority here. So we've got our two... Um, Catapults up on that side. We've got the arrow launcher and the catapult on the Primus conduit. We've also got a watchtower and the skywatcher there, preventing uh, air from just coming in and wrecking the, the bottom. We've got a triangle here for our uh, spell towers, and in order to provide some protection from coming in from the, the bottom, we don't have enough walls to close up and make a full set of second walls, but we do have these funneling walls that will uh, encourage the troops to just waltz through the layer instead of going into the uh, core. So that's the idea behind that one. With the watchtowers and skywatchers inside the walls, there's not perfect protection there, but that's, I think, the best we can do. I am still keeping the watchtower up top with the uh, big buildings. We'll see how that goes. So basically, if, um, if troops are going to try to come in from the, uh, from the bottom here, they're going to face a, a very powerful um, core here, as well as spell tower fire and watchtowers from the sides. And as they get closer to the uh, stronghold, they'll have two catapults and a spell tower firing. If they instead try to come in from the north, the long range uh, Primus conduited arrow launcher and catapult will provide some protection there. They won't be hit by these two spell towers, though, but they will have to face two catapults the um, spell tower, and then some additional protection up here. So interesting to see how opponents will come and uh, attack that base, but I think I'm going to go with that for now until we get to a new Stronghold 11 design. So if you have any uh, favorite Stronghold 10 bases you like or any feedback on this base, I'd love to hear that. Uh, until next time when we uh, cover Stronghold 11, thanks for watching.